hello guys welcome back to the channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button to subscribe and also turn on the notification buttons to get notified as soon as we drop entertainment videos well guys on the of Ife's estranged wife queen naomi shilekola open will see i shared the red pictures of herself and her son is something very very surprising and weird that the former queen of only of Ife has shared shared cute pictures of a son on social media well the ex-wife of the monarch had stepped out in style for a mother's 55th birthday and this she took a son along and she shared pictures of herself with a son on a social media page taking to our official social media page to share pictures from the event the ex-queen of the yoruba monarch Oni of Ife also gave a fans a glimpse of a son, the heir to the throne, Prince Tadini Kao. Well, just after she posted this, she added a caption to the pictures she shared that delighted a lot of her fans that they are seeing a son on camera. She said, over the weekend, we celebrated Mami at 55 and here are a few pictures from the beautiful event, videos coming soon spot my prince charming in his blue tuxedo well guys it's something very rare that queen naomi is posting revealing a baby's face on social media because ever since she welcomed a son with the only of if uh, ever since then she has not been sharing much pictures about a son on social media but right now she has shared a glimpse of a son a uh, prince charming mm -hmm on our instagram page well guys if you could all recall that the ex-wife of only of a fake naomi shile kwala and her ex-husband the only of a fake but the year goes actually welcomed their first son in 2020 which means that the boy is now two years of age this year well the son Prince Tadini Kawo happened to be the first son of Oni of Ife, of which when Oni of Ife welcomed his first son with his ex-wife Ulurishile Kwala, he was super excited about it then. While announcing the good news on his Instagram page, the king wrote, To God be the glory, great things he had done. Happily, congratulations to the entire house of Odudua and Olorishile Kwala, who today birthed a prince to the royal throne of Odudua. Mother and child are doing well to the glory of God Almighty. Well, this is something that the king has been expecting for a while, and getting it from his ex wife, Olorishile Kwala, was something he was very, very happy about. That was before he separated from his wife Olori Shilekwala. While sticking to their culture then the prince was named just eight days after his birth and the birth of the prince was greeted by three faces of 21 days traditional rites according to the dedicates and custom of the Yoruba land which must be proceed the procedure that must be followed in the old Dua land. And just after this 21 days traditional rite, it was eventually rounded off within the premises of the palace. Well, Queen Naomi herself, the mother of the prince, has recounted how the societal pressure made the journey of motherhood difficult for her. Because it's the first time that she's given birth to a child, she had addressed the issue about the first child she had in the news of separation she shared on her Instagram page. She talked about how the child that was mistaken by a lot of people to be as was for a sister and not a child. So this is the first child she gave birth to. So while opening up on motherhood journey, she had talked about how it wasn't that easy. Queen Naomi has spoke of the difficult experience she experienced for motherhood and she added prior to the conception during a feature on TVC. In the interview, she made reference to her story. The Queen said that conception became tougher for women when they are constantly reminded of their fatality struggles. She said it was like I was supposed to start pooping babies almost 
immediately the whole world was just looking at me thank god for a supportive husband he would always tell me not to bother think it was something i was challenged with from the first day i got married so this she revealed in an interview she had talked about how giving birth to a son tadenikawa wasn't something easy at first because she said she thinks about it even the day she got married to the king she already started thinking about how giving birth to her child would look like and how it would be so she had said that one thing that society doesn't know yet is that when a woman is under pressure it becomes very difficult for them to conceive because it, it messes with their brain and then it goes to their hormones and it becomes more difficult she said she was really pressured when she was pregnant with her son Tadenekao. she said the more you abuse a woman about childbearing the more it becomes difficult for her to conceive so the queen the former queen of only of affair had talked about how she was pressured then not by her husband but then by the public because it was not immediately she got married to only of affair it was not immediately she conceived a child tadenikau so she had admitted that she faced pressures as regard the sex of her child Maybe it's going to be a male or a female. And she said this is not from something from our husband, but from the general public. She said in her words, For me, it was really difficult, but thank God for God. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. And thank God for my husband. There was no pressure at all from my husband's family. They were all very supportive. I will say from the public, there was a little bit of pressure, but because my husband did not actually care about what gender, it could be a boy, a girl, or even twins, it did not care. So my mind was not on whether it was a boy or a girl. There was no reason to go for a scan, and there was no reason to find out what I was having. Whatever it is, I knew it was going to celebrate me and celebrate the child. So this was the statement she made in the interview while she was talking about the struggles she faced while trying to give birth to her son, Tadenikawo, which means that only of Ife and his former wife, his ex-wife, Queen Omishile Kuala, did not really go for a scan to check the gender of the baby. It was when she gave birth to Prince Tadenikawo that was when they actually confirmed that this is a boy. So the birth of Tadenikawo happened to be the first son of Oni of Ife. When Oni and his ex-wife were still together, the birth of this boy actually cemented their relationship, of which when she gave birth to Tadenikawo, Oni of Ife ensured that Queen Naomi Shilekola never lacked anything. So Oni of Ife made sure that he took good care of her, and also she was loved by a lot of people in the community due to her make and respect for nature. But as things eventually turns out, looks like those two were not there to raise their kid together because right now the prince is with his mother and only of affair is separated from his wife, his ex wife actually, Queen Naomi Shile Kuala. So, following a separation with the royal monarch only of affair, this is the first public appearance she's making with her son. First time she's revealing her son on social media. Well, guys, that's all for today's gist. Don't forget to like and comment. Thank you. Bye.